Hi, and welcome to another episode of Willis Garage. This is the next episode in my clay 3D printer build. Uh, as you have seen in previous videos, I have designed the machine in Fusion 360, and I also have done some experiments with the extruder, so I would get the clay extruder working properly. I do think I have the function test of this uh, okay, but of course I need a machine to put it on so I can test it uh, in uh, real life or test it if it works at all. I'm sure I have to do some adjustments on the extruder when I get the machine finished and I will do experiments then and do the changes when that's done. You have seen my design in previous episode and in the introduction of this episode you saw me build this. This is the base of the 3D printer. It's, uh, I think you would call it the Y-axis. And I originally designed it like this and I of course built it. But I have a couple of problems with this build. On top of this plate there will be a lot of weight because I have the whole gantry and the clay extruder and everything uh, weighing down on, on these two blocks. That's why in this design I am afraid that the uh, vertical forces down here on both sides would be too much for the attachment of the rails. Here I drilled and tapped holes to attach the rails to the aluminum extrusion. This aluminum is not very thick, so that in itself is a weak point. I also think I am going to get a weak point where I have to build this bracket with a straight plate on top here and two horizontal plates on the sides here. The joints between these horizontal plates and the vertical plate uh, is also going to be a weak point. And if I was going to do it like this, I would have to make or machine those plates very precise and I don't have the means to do that. That's why I decided to redesign this uh, Y-axis base assembly. If we go into the computer, I did the whole redesign in uh, Fusion 360. So, as you can see from the time-lapse on the redesign, I used uh, much of the components I had from before. I did want these linear rails to be on top of the aluminum extrusion so the forces would go straight down instead of a bending downwards force on these rails here. So if I get them on top, I widen the base itself. That way I also can get the lead screw and the stepper motor and things like that in between the rails on the sides. This is the new design. All I have to do now is to dismantle this one make all the pieces I need for the new design and put it together. Okay, now I have dismantled the old Y-axis base. If you look at the Fusion 360 model, I have this 20 by 80 aluminum extrusion and I have a 20 80 aluminum extrusion down here and up here. I'm still going to do it like that, but the aluminum extrusion in the middle here, I'm going to cut into pieces that are this big approximately. So I'm going to have four pieces uh, on top. One, two, three, four. And the same on the bottom. One, two, three, four. I'm doing it like that because I don't think I need a whole piece in the bottom and on the top just to keep these together at a given distance. On top here I'm going to have the rails and the pieces between here. Let's go!
that took me about three months, I think, to build this. Uh, I have been waiting for parts that I've ordered and I also have had other projects in the meantime. But now I'm finished with all the mechanics of this 3D printer. I have to build, of course, a plate here for me to mount the extruder and to mount this lead screw nut to this bracket. In the next part of this video series, I will get sorted out the electronics. I have to program the electronics and wire up all the stepper motors and uh, everything like that. I also need wires for limit switches and hoses and wires for the extruder. In the description of this video, I have also posted links for most of the materials I use in this video. But if you see that there is something missing from this link list, please let me know and I will post links for it. So if you're interested in seeing me building and finishing this clay 3D printer, you can subscribe to my channel so you will get updates when I post new videos. And also like or dislike and comment if you want down below. I hope to see you in the next one and for now me and the clay 3D printer says goodbye.